Okay, we left off yesterday of 262, the last uh, sif, last halacha test. Let's go over it because we can do the Mishnah Burah. Mashanogi Mamokim Shin Esuk Motsui. There's a custom in a location where the Esuk is not, it's something which is not easily come upon. Shikolakol Konim Esuk Bishutafus. Community buys an Esuk as, as a partnership, they all contribute, and they purchase a communal Esuk. Hatam, since everyone contributes to purchase the esrog to be yotzi with, because what is the circumstance? The circumstance is that each person wasn't able to come upon his own esrog, and they all contributed. So the understanding was that each one, each one of them will relinquish his share when the other one wants to be yotzi. So even though they don't verbalize it, but that's the original understanding. Now the question is, when you, you collect the money, how much does each one have to contribute to purchase the esrog? How's the evaluation made? It's based on one's financial capability. And he says, and Hidromitz is more incumbent upon the wealthy than the poor. The poor have to contribute just to have a share. But to bring it to another level, that's something the wealthy should underwrite. The poor don't have to contribute to, towards the Hidr. That's something you will. Not to the Hidr. No, Whatever they can. The Isha Pturam Litein Mos, the Mos Esro, Kovena Chayevisbo. She doesn't have to contribute because she has no obligation. He says, however, each person should take the initiative and do whatever he can to purchase his own personal esrog. To be able to fulfill the mitzvah properly. Okay? Let's see the Mishnah Burah. Tess. Shkol kol konim, kotsev chayodom. Even according to us, each person has his own esrit. person wants to borrow it, you give it to him and say, look, you're welcome to have it. Right? To take it to be yotze. He's saying something interesting. He's saying, now, people contribute to purchase the esrog. What happens if a person is able to contribute, he doesn't contribute. And now he wants to take the communal esrog and be yotzei, he's a yotzei. So the Chayodim says, Each person, our meaning is we don't make it a financial evaluation. You let each person contribute whatever he wants. Right? We have a, an honor system. Just put the money in the box, we don't ask. Right? Because but, he's, but a person who doesn't contribute whatsoever, because the understanding community is, if a person truly can't give, he's so poor, we're willing to let forego that. You could have a share of that. We're willing to give it to you. But a person who could contribute, doesn't, we could say with certainty, the community doesn't want their esther to be used by that person. No, again, 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 again. You have a shul fund. Here we're talking about each person is contributing every year to buy. It's given the money is given specifically to buy the esrog. What I should go underwrite you? You could afford you to underwrite yourself. I have to underwrite you. So we could say with certainty, if that the mindset of people is, we don't want you to be able to with our esrog. Person who can't, okay, we want to help the person. If a person can, doesn't want, you want to have a free rider. You're not having a free ride on us. That's the mindset of people. Makes sense. I mean, it's a cheapskate. What are you talking about? What, I should cover your expense? Something else that's only personal. No, it's not comparable. Not comparable. Not comparable. Not comparable. Not ca it's only as a smoke screen to confuse people. Okay, then it's not, it's not comparable. You know, it's about total last lives here. When each person takes it, each person is agreeable, it, he's gifting it to the other person. It should be totally his. But the mindset of people is we only gift it to those who contributed it. 
A partnership is a, everybody has a share, but you're not Yotzi with the partnership. You have to totally own it. it has to be totally yours. So for that, to bring, the the a person who should have contributed, should have and did not, the Chayotim says that person is not Yotzi. Because the mindset of the people is they're not willing to give them the answer. Something else, something else, something else. When I, everybody has their own feeling. He would talk about everybody is asked to contribute, and this man does not contribute. So why don't you contribute? People ask, why didn't this man contribute? You're a cheapskate. You're not being yotzi with my mitzvah. That that's that that that, that, that is that irrational. That's the way most people feel. Unless a person's a tzaddik or a chosid, he says, you know something, let it go. But the man came from overseas. No, we're not talking about he came from overseas. He's a member of the community where he should have contributed. Okay, but if he's not and we're not talking about where he couldn't afford to contribute. If he couldn't afford, it's one thing. But if, not, if he's not a member of the community, I mean, he just chose... 100% he's Yotze with it. He's Yotze. Some things that people know who contributed. No, they don't know who contributed. He says, even we don't know who contributed. He says, the female organic, we don't even know who did or who did not. But the mindset of people is a person did not, and he could have... We're not willing to relinquish our share to that person. It doesn't make a difference, but he knows. So if he knows, that means he's not Yotzi with Aluluk. He's not Yotzi with Aluluk. I don't see why it's so difficult. This is straight thinking here. This is, you know, this is, you know, this is, don't be so judgmental. That, that's this mindset of the society. You know, the guy put, takes money out of your pocket. He says, maybe I could host you at the restaurant. You know, you're hosting me with my money. Are you for real, or you you know you're you're, you're something else? We're talking about straight thinking people over here. But once you once you hold the lura, it's as if you owned a hundred percent of it. When? The first day. When? In what case? Well, but when the, the, the communal. Uh, you know, David just came back from vacation. He'll need another vacation another day with this kind of stuff, <laughs> with this kind of thinking. No, but uh, what, what is the? Again, 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 again. If you ask me to, to be Yotsu with my Lord, I give it to you. I give it to you 100%. Because if I don't give it to you 100%, you're not Yotsu. Okay? There's no question. That, that's a reality. You have to have it. But to who do you relinquish 100% to? Or agreeable to give 100% to? Everybody should have contributed one man. He chooses not to contribute. Right? A people agreeable to give that person their share. So he says people are not agreeable to give the share. That's it. So he's not Yotze. So don't think you're getting away with anything over here. So the Mechaber says, although the people don't verbally say you're welcome to take it, but since everybody in the community contributes to purchase the, the communal lesserig, the understanding is that it, when each person takes it, it's totally his. Since people don't know the intricacies of transferring ownership, Let's say a person has his own dalit medium, and they're not as elaborate and beautiful as the communities. It's better to be Yotze with your own than take that. Why? Because even though we're saying people, the <coughs> understanding is they're willing to relinquish their share, <coughs> many people don't know this. And if they don't know, it's a problem. There's a presumption people are willing to give whatever is needed, they're willing. And whatever person doesn't understand that, right? It will make, we're making a presumption, but there may be somebody who doesn't understand that. If he doesn't understand, then you're not Yotze. So therefore, better be Yotze with something of lesser quality, definitely, than maybe be Yotze with better quality where you're not Yotze whatsoever. A hand in the bush is worth, a, hand, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. That's it. No, which means like this, there's a presumption. There's a presumption. So if you have no choice, you rely on presumption. That's all he's saying. Because it's not something which is... Without question. I'll give you an example. A shlich tzibur. Right? 
what he has in mind, he's supposed to have in mind, he's representing the tzibur. So let's say uh, a person's in the middle of Shmon Esrei and we come to Kedusha. So the halochi is the one in the middle of Shmon Esrei listens and it's based on the principle of Shemei Ka'one that now, let's hear other people say Kedusha. When they say Kedusha, do they have in mind to be Yotzei? The person who's in the middle of Shmon Esrei is not able to respond to Kedusha. Definitely not. So who, who's supposed to be Motzi them? The Shlich Tzibur. What he says the Kedusha. Let's say the man doesn't th think and doesn't even enter his mind when he says Kadosh, 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 that he's being Motzi anybody. So is anybody? The Yenai Yotzei. You, you ask any, most Shlich shl Tzibur. They don't have that in mind. The Brazil, look, I'm a Shlich Tzibur. Whatever that means, that's what I am. Right? That's what it means. Whatever that But John, it's pretty weak. For Kiddush, we understand. You say Kiddush for people, you have in mind to be Motzi the people. If you don't have mind to motive, then not Yotze. Right? Well, if I'm saying I'm main Kiddush for the family, whatever that means. Whatever that means, it's good enough. Okay? But it's, but it's not really a, a quality Kiddush for the other people. It's better to have specifically in mind mm -hmm. that I'm be Motzi, whoever's listening to the Kiddush. That's the way Shomei Kona works. person's a Balkore, reading the Megillah. Right? He has in mind to be Motzi, whoever is here to listen to Chris Megillah, or chauffeur. Whoever's listening to the chauffeur, he has in mind to cover them, right? But if he doesn't have in mind, say, well, if he's blowing it in the shul, that, that, to presume that, that's, that, that's what he has in mind. Well, we're dealing with the arises, you know, it's playing games here. Same thing with the lulav. There's a presumption, okay? If you have no choice, you rely on presumption. You presume that, but it's not definite. It's, it's pretty weak. So that's what he says. Even if you have a le lesser quality, esrog and lulav, better use the lesser quality and to rely on this presumption. You have a choice. The question there. Vim ain lo muto shito shel haverak sher mishito shel akol. He says, what about you can borrow from the individual or use the communal esrog? You don't have your own. Better borrow from your friend. And you say, could you please give it to me as a gift? I will return it. The question is. Kesh omrim shel kol lo yotze de shemi yesh echod meem shen yu dato lactus chelkel havero. You know, it's interesting. You could have one man messing up the whole community. You know, it's like the Gemara tells us in Pesachim, you had the guy who went and purchased a piece of the Karm Pesach. He thought he was putting it over on everybody. Right? So a person says, you know something? I'm going to join, become a member of Shul. This year, nobody in the Shul is going to be Yotzi Yeser. You know why? Because I'm going to contribute, and I will not release my share to the community. So what happens if he doesn't release mm -hmm. his portion? It could be an infinitesimal portion. It doesn't make a difference. Nobody's Yotzi. So he could actually cause the whole community not to be Yotzi Dalit Minim. Because it's a partnership. It's, it's not a Matan Amas Lachzit. So do you know what's in anybody's mind? Yeah, he's a bad person. Right? He's a defiant Jew. He says, look, I'm going to, you know, they haven't given me a leave in 46 <laughs> years. This year, they're not going to be Yotzi Esri, the shul. He couldn't care less if he's Yotzi. No, he is Yotzei. Because they, everybody else has in mind they're giving him, but he's not giving them. Whatever. This man is not concerned about Lifna either. It's worse than Lifna either. David's in Tadefka, but isn't after. Okay. <laughs> I know what this is thinking. It's not. It's not. But they don't, because it, it's something, something which 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 happens. First of all, it has to be something very extreme. No, no, no. Extreme is something like illegitimacy, You're creating illegitimacy in the Jewish people. That's you know that, that that these kinds of things. Okay, they don't say that for this. Okay. I mean, you have a proof from the Gemara where we always quote the Gemara in uh, Basra, We had the Sefer Torah stolen from the community, right? So it says, uh, and so every member of the community is, uh, is known in the Sefer Torah. And they all witnessed the thief stealing the Sefer Torah, but they were all not qualified to testify because they were all Nogea. So the Gemara has to c figure out how do we, how do we convict this, this thief because anybody who witnessed the theft is not qualified to testify. The Gemara says, they have to, two members have to relinquish their interest in the Sefer Torah, and so they no longer have, they no longer have a con conflict of interest. That's what Mars is. 
Efkim is an Efkim finish. You want to get the man, this is the way you get him. We, re we remove two of the people of their ownership, and then they become qualified to testify. Wait one second. Ba'aftul kaimel on hochid. Mikol mokul chatchilo odef fei lito shel yochid. Chayyadim says it's better take an individual's esrog rather than rely on presumption. Kol kol yosem chelkon. Kol mokul chatchil tov sheachrizu. And that's why before Chris McGillip brought Kia Shofrin, I don't know what they do in, in, the, in shuls here, but they usually announce everybody should have in mind to be yotze with the reading of the Megillah. You know, and the Balkori has in mind to cover everybody else. I don't know. They, they usually make that announcement in shuls. Yeah, is it Parsha Zohar or with Kiel Shofar also? Everybody should have a mind not to speak and have a mind to listen to it and to be fulfilled in the midst of listening to the, call of the, the sound of the Shofar. So he says, he says, they, it's better, he says, it's best to announce to the community, that each person should relinquish his right, his ownership, to one another. When each person takes it, it should be fully his. They should make that announcement so people should be aware of that. So what happens if one person doesn't show up to shul that day? Okay. He has to remember from last year. What about the man who is outside and he listens to the reading of the Megillah and parallel? It's a Mishnah. It's a Mishnah in Rosh Hashanah. That since the, the reader in the shul has in mind to be motzi, whoever listens, if you read a Megillah in your house, and somebody's listening outside, he's not Yotze. Because you're not, when you're reading it, you're not, you're not reading for the public, you're reading for the people in your home. But a Balkori in the shul, he has in mind whoever wants to be Yotze, because that's what a basic Knesset is. So therefore, he is Yotze, even if you're outside the shul. That's, that's the differentiation the Mishnah makes. Okay? Okay, so he probably would have asked something which relates to Sukkah Megillah, you know, because we have a, a, get a visitor here today. It would have been something else. Okay? Isha Petura, a woman does not have to contribute because she's not obligated. Then he wrote to Levorech, Chayevis, but if she chooses to say Evrach, she can. There's many Gashkenaz, right? Even though Smith says, Gromo, Umishen Ubiir, Ein Tzorch Litein. What about a person goes to Israel for Sukkot? Does he have to contribute? They say, well, that's your choice. He doesn't have to contribute. It's only if he's in the community. That's when he has to contribute, because then he will be one of the people who will be a beneficiary. But it's best, the Ramos says, that if one could afford his own, he should purchase his own. To wave the love properly. Now, what about if the first day falls out on Shabbos? So you could be also with a borrow this or so all this is not an issue any longer, right? We don't need matonam nas lazir the subsequent days. The etzem ha mitzvah says he has to shuv lekayim. I feel the hoch noch lishtad liyos lulu veesuk laatzmo. Kedul kameid odem sheish lo esuk miyuchud biyar acheres ein lem klal. Interesting shaylo. Okay, person has a private esuk. Another community doesn't have esuk. And you could be yotzei by borrowing in the community. Should you give your esuk away as a gift to that community who is not going to have? Rather than be Yotze, you say, well, but I'd like to be Yotze with my own. So he says, you should give your Esser, gift it to that community, that it's, it's Zika or Rabbi. I mean, you can bring, you're allowing through your gift, a whole community can be Yotze the mitzvah. No, you're going to be Yotze regardless. Even if you, you're giving it away, you're not going to have it. Right? No, other, there'll be other people in the community. You have a communal Esser, and you have a private Esser. You give your, you, you should give it away, so it, like, otherwise the other community is not going to be fulfilled the mitzvah. So you should give it away. Your private esrog, your, pr your private, your personally owned esrog, you should give away. To, to that other community that doesn't have an esrog. Okay, they have, they are, there are other esrog in your community. Coming out an interesting question. Because so many people they they touch the Esri eventually by the left by the by the third, fourth day, the Esri is not valid any longer. With all the touching and tampering with it, right? Because you know, I, I'll give it to them, but what about me? So you'd say, Well if I'm one individual. 
here we're talking multiple individuals. Maybe I should relinquish my mitzvah, so multiple individuals should be yotze. Is that is that a basis to withhold it? The answer is no. You, you should hold it, withhold it. You should, because the Gemara says we don't say chatei b'shushis kechaverecha, right? What is it? You should sin. You should be delinquent, so to, so someone else should be meritorious. We don't see that. I mean, you're going to deny your mitzvah, so multiple people should do the mitzvah. You don't do such a thing. Doesn't make a difference. They'll also be passive, right? Efsher in Tzorch, he says Efsher in Tzorch lishloa chaver Efsher at kan lishon or sveko yuchalios al shari yomin v'yom rishon ein emotzi kol kach v'skalkel v'levorachol v'babok kodem shiyad kodem mashbo to be continued. Okay. All this is, you know, the kiso, bakaso, bakoso. How do you know a person? The way he drinks, the way he spends, and the way he gets angry. These are these are these are indicators of what the essence of a person is. You know, I, I can be honest with you. Why should I even contribute? Why should I buy my own? You know, you're always you're always in somebody else's. Uh, you know, always kiso with your pocketbook, bakoso, the way you drink, and the way you get angry over what you get angry and how you get angry. Caso. Okay. <coughs> 